Assalamu alaikum. Satahai. Fian, alhamdulillah. Good evening, everyone. My name is Kirsty, and I'm proud to be joined by my dear friend, my dear colleague, Minister of Immigration, Ahmed Hussain. And before I introduce my other dear friend, Boris, I think it's important that we remember that Ahmed made history. He made history and became the first Somali Canadian elected to a Canadian parliament. And then my dear friend, my brother, Ahmed made history again. And he became a member of the Canadian Cabinet. I also want to recognize another dear friend. Our writings are together. My dear friend, Member of Parliament, a wonderful friend to Somalia and to Somali Canadians, yeah. Boris Shivznevsky. Yeah, yeah. I will also recognize our colleague, the trustee, Avtar Minhas, who I know the Somali Canadian community knows well. I want you to know the three of us work very closely together. And I also want you to know, before we make this announcement, I want you to know how very much you mean to me. How much I love and appreciate you all. For the last nine years, you've taught me your beautiful culture, your beautiful religion, and you've taught me your language. And I feel enormously proud to be part of your community. I also want to thank, before we make this announcement, David DeBell, principal yes. of this school. Yes. I can honestly say this is the very first time I have been to an event, and it's after 9.30. Poor Ahmed, in case you didn't know, sat on a tarmac on a plane for hours to make tonight. But Principal DeBell, I have never seen a principal here at this hour and here for the community. So we thank you. On a Friday night. On a Friday, Friday night. night. So now, 
why we've asked you all to come tonight. We're pleased to be here on behalf of our colleague, um, the Minister of International Development in La Francophonie. Her name is Mary-Claude Bibot. And what we're announcing today is that Canada will provide an additional $10.4 million in humanitarian assistance to Somalia. And this funding is going to make a real difference in the lives of communities in Somalia. The assistance will help alleviate suffering through emergency food assistance, better health and nutrition services, water and sanitation, education, and protection for the children. I am going to hand this off now, this wonderful news, to my dear friend Boris. But before I do, to all of you, my dear, beautiful family, Mahatsinit, 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 and finally, Samaria Hanalata, Canada Hanalata. Assalamu alaikum, my Somali brothers and sisters. When I look at your celebratory faces this evening, after hearing this wonderful news, it reminds me of the celebratory faces that Ahmed and I saw two and a half years ago. We were at Centennial Park in the stadium for the Somali Soccer Tournament Finals. And at that time, the two of us went into the stands and we shook everyone's hands. And at that time, I was trying to impress upon, and I see a number of the same people here this evening, the importance, the historical importance of that opportunity to have a Somali-Canadian candidate. Well, tonight, we see why it was so important that all of you stood behind Ahmed, supported him, knocked on doors, got the vote out. Because you now have a voice at the cabinet table. And it's not just a voice. You have someone that carries all of your hopes and dreams for your children here in Canada. And for your ancestral homeland and the children and generations to come in Somalia. And it's a tremendous annou announcement, this 10.4 million. But it comes, it comes on the heels of $40 million of humanitarian aid that our government has provided to Somalia this year. <laughs> Ahmed's presence in cabinet is making a difference. The millions means hundreds of thousands relieved of the suffering of thirst and hunger. It means thousands of Somalis will have their lives saved. A month ago in the House of Commons, I rose in the House just before question period. And it, I can tell it gets pretty loud in question period. 
but I rose to talk about a little girl I met in the summer of 2005. And when I spoke about this little girl, it became incredibly quiet in the house. The members listened carefully. In the summer of 2005, as I was leaving Johar, walking down the dusty main road to the convoy of cars that were waiting, a little girl, four or five years old, ran up to me. And she took my hand. And I looked down at this little girl in bare feet. And all she had on was a torn little red t-shirt. A little girl with nothing. But a little girl with the most precious, beautiful smile. I took her hand and the two of us walked down that main street of Johar. I felt as if I was walking with the Queen of Johar. But as I drove away and I watched through the window and I saw her standing by herself in the middle of that dusty road, it hurt. And every time in the years since that I've thought about her, it hurts when I think and wonder, did she ever learn to read and write? It hurts every time I think about her and wonder, did those beautiful black pearls turn a reddish brown for malnutrition? And it hurts even think the thought that perhaps she is no more. Friends, my Somali brothers and sisters, that is why I, Kirsty, and other of our colleagues are so proud to have Ahmed there. And this is just the beginning. We will make a difference in Somalia. Somalia Walidid Hanolata. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Boris and Kirsty. Thank you to Aftar Minhas, uh, our school trustee in this area, for joining us tonight. I really want to thank uh, David, the principal of this school, and all the volunteers who allowed us to, uh, all the volunteers who helped and uh, stayed behind to, on a Friday night to make this happen. I apologize for being late. I was stuck, uh, I was literally inside a plane uh, waiting to take off from uh, 4.30 p.m. And they kept saying, you know, another hour, another hour, and uh, you know, I landed very shortly before. Uh, this is a really important announcement. $10.4 million, in addition to the previous uh, announcements that we made for Somalia, uh, for the $119 million, which $21 million went to Somalia, 10.4, the matching fund, everything when you total up outside of the matching fund alone for this year, the Government of Canada has provided $40 million to Somalia. And, and because of the advocacy, of Boris, myself, and Kirsty, uh, we're making sure that this money goes to the right place, that it goes to help people in need, that goes to help better health, uh, the health and, and nutrition services, 
uh, help with water and, and sanitation, education and protection for children. The, the most shocking uh, thing I found out during the famine was that a lot, of the food, a lot of the people do not die because of lack of food or hunger. They die because they drink uh, bad water. So water sanitation and the, and the surrounding issues around that are extremely important. And some of this funding will go specifically to provide water and health services. Uh, secondly, uh, one of the things that Boris touched on and Christy, uh, and I want to really say this to the community, is uh, years before I ran for parliament, years before I even thought of running and becoming a member of parliament, these two were. And I'll never forget that. And we should never forget that. They stood shoulder to shoulder with us. Boris, as a member of parliament, went to Somalia and went when no Western politician visited Somalia. Uh, he went against the advice of all the experts who said, don't visit Somalia, it's too dangerous. No one has gone there. He said, no, I will go. So you went and you opened the door. And I remember when he came back, the reports that he gave to the community and the uh, feedback that he gave to the Globe and Mail, to CBC, it really reawakened people's interest in Somalia and re-engagement. So your visit, your single-handed visit, did so much to turn around the perception that people had in Canada about Somalia. Thank you very much. Uh, my sister Christy, what, what can I say? Uh, Christy was there when the mothers sought out help. When the Somali Canadian mothers asked for help, she answered the call. She stood up in Parliament. She presented petitions. You wrote a letter to Vic Tays, which I remember working with you on. Statements in the House, keeping that issue alive, and many issues for the community. And again, I always joke by saying, you know, a lot of people say, you know, you're the first Somali Canadian MP. I say, no, that was Boris. I'm the second one, you know. He, he reminds me, uh, ever since becoming Minister of Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship, it's a big portfolio. So I have to deal with visas and so on. But he always reminds me, don't forget about Somalia. Uh, and, and, and that tells me that, that, uh, that, you know, as a team, we are always cognizant of the fact that the people of Somalia are resilient. Uh, regardless of the politics, regardless of, of, of famine and so on, the people are resilient and they deserve a better future. And this money will go to ensure that. And one final thing before I go, um, Boris and Christy and I are working very hard. Uh, it's very difficult to speak about development and second stage issues when you're facing a famine, when you're facing a humanitarian catastrophe, when you're facing a lack of water and education and protection for children. But make no mistake, we do talk about a future beyond this. And we constantly talk about this in the House of Commons, uh, outside the House of Commons, in Ottawa, in Toronto. Whenever we talk, Somalia always comes up. And we talk about uh, engaging our government to make sure that there is a strategic partnership with Somalia. Whether it is building, I mean, Canada can do so much in terms of normal diplomatic channels. But the biggest link between Canada and Somalia are the great people-to-people -people ties. And, and so, uh, so as, you, as you look at that, you look at the people-to-people -people ties, you look at the, the strategic importance between the two countries, the relationship and the history, you realize that the potential for growth is even higher. I talked to the, to the Canadian ambassador to Kenya, who's also responsible for Somalia. And she told me that what will really bind Canada and Somalia are the Canadian Somalis who have gone back to Nairobi and to Mogadishu and beyond to give back their expertise and build uh, the relationship between the two countries. You can count on the fact that the three of us will keep championing Somalia and issues related to it. But more importantly, that this is a government that listens, that uh, responds when the call is made, and will always stand shoulder to shoulder with Somalia. Somalia Hanolato. Canada Hanolato.
وحن ربي آه آذيات وحن ربي إن آذيات نيومها علي إن عاوت مادن إن هربا أشياء جاي مروا البنو كسو علين دونا بوريس كريستي وس وساحب بها كوميتي كان إن تانا أنا جه حلوان نقول كوميتي ودود يشرين بوريس وحل تجي سوماليا لابد يكون يشان وقت أو سياسيين تكرر قلبات كمان أي تنتجي يشرين سوماليا وحن الوير واجع ستجن وون تجي وحبا ذن بين بدو شيء بقى شدي سو بقى سوماليا هويوين كسوماليا ويلش ندلع مركي بلا متي هويوين كسوماليا أي غيرادن أي أبهناين معاونات وحويرتن كريستي كريستينا ووجوهتي ويل ويل وودا جالنتي برلمان كأرين تجيسي وتبدأ بدن بكي جدين شرتي and what will be a school day cut away where some I say illa had an art as well which is Marka Laka had to go to work I will have to stop something I am I've met and I forgot and to the behind I am I'm going to be a yeah you have better show that you you in my city law in a lawyer in a in my law is to my life in a day I'm on in my school and العجاز ماشى سبلوك بحناية العجتان وتون ميلين يو يأفر بقولكون مركي الاسكودر سنة كان دم العجت كان ذا بحسي توتل كذا وأفرت الميلين وطول العجت أصلا العجت أصلا وحكم بحسن تاع العجت كلا ودولة ذا أي 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 ماشين كوسا ما يسدت كمان ركي ودي قاي سومالي واجي أبارت إذا عيش سنة كان وديس مركي آدي آد بان بعد أم عزنتين وحن ربي أنا كده ما أرنت أصلا and labadan xilliban and mar walba arimaha Soomaaliya way igala hadlaan waxayna ka dhawaajiyaan inay jeclaan lahaayeen in hadalkeena uu dhaafo uu ka gudbo in abaar iyo 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 waxyaalaha oo degdeg ah oo loo gudbo wadanka sida loo hormarin lahaa dawladdana diyaar bay u tahay waxyaalaha ugu weyn oo xanibaya waxa waaye dawladda Soomaaliya oo safaarad inta ku qabin and community ga dawladda Soomaaliya ma matali karaan دولت سومالي بعنتا إن سفير أي كانت أو سفارة أي كانت أو سي دولت كنا دي دولت سومالي معاملات دبلوماسية ووو يشان because تي تتك ووو يشان وتت بدن سومالي الله بدو بدن وده حي مركا أرمى هاسنا وحي صدق لنا اللوجة بعيا وقبلنا أيضا وهذا ذكره هذا ويدي سنوات حقيقي دونا إن شاء الله. I'd like to invite our school trustee right here in Etobicoke, Aftar Minister Hassan Mohammed. I'd like to invite our school trustee right here in Etobicoke, Aftar Minister Hassan Mohammed. Good evening, everyone. First of all, I like to congratulate uh, all the Somalian community. The Hussein Abdul Abdul Hussein is doing some work for in the Ottawa. So we are so proud of him being Christy Duncan and uh, Boris and uh, Abdul Hussein. They are over three candidates in Ottawa make a uh, topico so great in in the parliament. So we, we are so much proud of Ahmed Hussain because he grew up with us over here in the community. And then uh, we spoke, we will like when I was uh, going to the uh, Somali soccer tournaments. So we were together and I, uh, when the first thing when he was announced that uh, this portfolio and I sent him a message that uh, uh, Ahmed, I'm so proud of you. And then uh, I was so happy and uh, because we have a big, big uh, portfolio, Christy Duncan, Minister of uh, Science, and uh, Boris, and then the Ahmed Hussain, we are very proud of them, them to be in order one. Thank you. thank you very much. I want to thank all the volunteers. They did, they did a good yeah. job at inviting us and keeping this place and, and, uh, and putting this together. Thank you very much for the work. And موسيقى <تصفيق> Esta
ورحمة الله وبركاته دعوة ذي عشا هرمركة تي في ما يعيقوا شكري قتشر we have here with us the first female Canadian Minister of Science and Technology which is something very I'm proud of and also there has been a very important announcement that was made here today Madam Honorable Kirsty Kirsty Duncan welcome to هرمركة تي في Assalamu alaikum, satahai, fian, alhamdulillah. It is such an honor to be with you, Shukri. Oh, the honor is all mine. Um, today was uh, it's a very exciting day for us. Uh, we've been looking forward for this uh, announcement. Uh, please tell us about uh, this important announcement that Canada made to Somalia. It is a really important announcement. Today, I announced with my dear brothers, Minister Hussain and uh, MP uh, Zhivnevsky, that Canada is announcing $10.4 million in humanitarian assistance for Somalia. That money will go to clean water. It will be used for health. It will be used for sanitation and it will be used for protection of children. And that $10.4 million for this year, that means Canada is contributing $40 million to Somalia. That's amazing, mashallah, $40 million. This year, 2017, from the Canadian government towards international development to Somalia. To Somalia, we are, we are, we are so pleased. Thank you for having us at this important announcement and it's always a privilege to do it with my brother, Minister Hussain, uh, Mahat Sinet. Thank you so much. You know, you're an ordinary Somalian before even Ahmed Hussein became an MP and elected MP. You have been involved within the Somali community and we greatly appreciate your courtesy, Duncan. I've seen you work personally and it's so, so lovely. Touched. I'm so touched because this is my family and I love my family very much. Somalia Hanalato, Canada Hanalato. Somalia Hanalato, Canada Hanalato. The Honorable Minister Kirsty Duncan, thank you very much. The Honorable Minister Ahmed Hussain of Minister of Immigration, Ahmed Kusodo of Hormarket TV. Manta, we have the Alago for how announcement Basame San Hagan. You have made a very exciting and important announcement. Can you please touch on that and how that relationship will be between Somalia and Canada? Okay, so the announcement uh, was for the announcement is for $10.4 million given by the government of Canada to the people of Somalia. The money is supposed to fight hunger, uh, wa provide water, sanitation, uh, help with child protection, as well as uh, providing medical supplies. So the, it's really important, critical supplies and aid to people who are affected by, by malnutrition. This money, $10.4 million, uh, is, the, is the latest installment of aid to Somalia. If you look at the year 2017, the total number comes, the total aid by, given by the government of Canada to the people of Somalia is $40 million. This is on top of the, the matching fund, which was very successful, which, um, which, which ran throughout the time when Somalia was experiencing a drought this year, which meant that if a Canadian person or a Canadian organization donated money to, uh, to the drought, the government of Canada was matching it dollar for dollar. That's amazing. It's an excitement, exciting announcement to hear that today, Ahmed. Could you please touch on the advocacy, the level of advocacy you had to do in the, in the Parliament Hill to actually get this going? Well, the level of advocacy was important and it wasn't just me. I had very good allies in uh, Boris Jesnevsky and uh, Christy Duncan. So the three of us have been pushing. 
for aid to Somalia, for engagement, and the government has listened. Uh, I started this process uh, when I, as soon as I became an MP, I started pushing this issue. Uh, and uh, in 2016, in 2016, the government delivered with some initial money, but 2017 they really went up to 40 million. And I want to thank Boris and Krista Duncan for really supporting the people of Somalia. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, th now, the level of uh, development as far as international development, is that more of the focus the Canadian government is willing to take right now, uh, or is it diplomacy? Well, right now, it's, it's about development. Diplomacy, of course, there's room for growth there, but the Somali government also has to uh, engage more. I think, I think there's uh, a lot of room to grow there. Um, uh, this government wants to engage. Uh, they sent me as the minister representing the government at the Somalia conference in May in London, England. So that was the first thing. And uh, we also sent the, uh, the uh, parliamentary secretary to the minister of foreign affairs. Our junior foreign affairs minister went to, uh, went to Mogadishu for the Somalia forum meeting. So the engagement is back. We, just, we, we, we can always do more, but the engagement is back. Yeah. Okay. Can you please uh, touch on one last question? I know you're very busy. Um, could you please touch on uh, the level of engagement from Somalia as far as getting um, like a, an embassy, a Somali Canadian embassy here? Well, no, the Somali government has to open an embassy. It would, it would help the relationship. That's what I'm saying. So well, they, they should do that uh, as, because it would help the relationship and it would deepen the ties uh, between the two countries. Absolutely. And there's more room for transparency. Thank you so much, Ahmed Hussain. I really appreciate your time. Dawoodi Ashahur Market TV. Uh, now we are taking interview with MP Boris Gwesnevsky. Hi, Boris. Welcome to Hard Market TV. It's my pleasure to be with you. Uh, today is an, a very excite, exciting day. Uh, this is an important announcement uh, to Somalia. Absolutely. And sometimes people look at the numbers, and they're big numbers, millions. But what does it mean on the ground? Those millions translate, as I mentioned in my speech, into hundreds of thousands of people having the, the pain of thirst and hunger relieved. It means thousands of people will literally have their lives saved. Saved. And it's an incredible announcement. And that's why it is so important that we have a Somali Canadian voice, that we have Ahmed at the cabinet table because he brings those concerns in a real way to that decision-making table and he carries the community's interests and hopes and dreams to the cabinet table. And also we should see this as the beginning. Absolutely. Mr. Boris, I know this would have been possible without your advocacy. And I also do know that you have traveled to Johar back in 2005, way before Ahmed was even elected or was thinking of even running for the Liberal government. So uh, we appreciate you and please touch on the level of advocacy that had to happen from uh, you to have you as an ally, as a friend of Somalia and to, for the Somali Canadians. Well, thank you. It was it was such an important trip in a number of ways. Uh, one was, it was at a time that people had basically given up on Somalia. People were told, no, first of all, uh, it's not safe, but secondly, nothing can be done. They were wrong. They were absolutely wrong. And the world and Canada can show leadership to the world in making a difference in Somalia. Uh, a few people asked, would I be willing to go back? And I said, absolutely, but I will not go back for the sake of just going back. I will not go back empty-handed. If I go back this time, we need to go back as a team. And we need to go back with a full plan in place to help put the foundations in, in place in Somalia, to build the institutions to make sure that these decades of civil strife that has taken the lives of so many millions 
that we put those institutions and put those foundations in place so that I talked of the little girl I met in Johar. So that all those little girls, all those little boys, gifts of God, have the same opportunities that Somali Canadian children have. Then we'll go back. That's amazing, uh, Mr. Boris. I truly thank you from the bottom of my heart as a Somali Canadian for you at continuing advocacy for Somalia as far as international development. And you know what? Um, I, I, you couldn't have said it more and this is extremely exciting thank you so much for coming on Hormarka TV thank you it's an honor that was the show Hormarka TV and I was going to announce it in Manta and I was going to say Manta and I was going to say 2.4 million and 2.4 million in the city of Somalia and Canada and I promise that I was going to say that I was going to say 2.4 million and I was going to say وحكبضن أفرتن على جارسي سومالي سنة كانوا 2017 وما سنتين أنا جوا شكرا جتير تورنتو هورمارك تي في السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته دعوة ذي عشاء هورمارك تي في مارك لا يوريسي وصعدوا ما أنت مشان وحالة شوقة سير منهاز أفتار أو أحد رستيجا إتوبيكو أريا ذا يسقول كهذا ما أنت كتيرنا Sir, uh, Mr. Aftar, thank you very much for um, allowing us to interview you at Hormarka TV. Yes, uh, this is uh, Etobicoke North, and then this is my community, and then especially the Somali community. I am working for last 20 years, so we work together, and uh, being me a trustee for this area now, I am very much involved with this community, and then I am uh, very happy to be here today, and then especially it was done for our brothers and sisters in trouble in Somalia and uh, the government is uh, so generous and then the community is so generous for those people who are there and then uh, they were here for a very good cause and then uh, we all support that and uh, it's a good uh, initiative uh, from the government of Canada to support Somalia because uh, uh, this community over there has uh, something natural disasters that we should always be for each other whenever we need uh, in some kind of that kind of situations. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Mr. Aftar, coming back here, uh, you are the trustee of one of the boards that has the largest number of Somali uh, Canadian Somali, Somali students. Of a, um, of a Somali descent uh, here at this ward. How do you see uh, that responsibility laying on your shoulders? Yeah, well, the Ahmed Hassan is the best example to see that uh, how far, how intelligent, how vibrant, and how uh, uh, organized and uh, disciplined community the Somali community is because uh, they are uh, doing uh, very well in uh, Etobicoke, either it's in a business, I've been doing business with the Somali community for a long time mm -hmm. and then uh, now I'm being trustee, I'm looking after all the kids in the schools, they are doing very good yeah. and then uh, for the last uh, uh, 10 years uh, I've been involved in the schools and then this, the, the Somali community uh, improved so much and they their students uh, when I go for the high school commencements uh, they are scoring very high uh, marks uh, now and then they are uh, getting very good uh, positions and then when I go to the schools and then I feel how much the parents involvement uh, is in the schools with our education system because uh, the parents' involvement in the schools is a very, especially I'm talking about the uh, Kingsview where we are now, and there's a lot of community live here, and then uh, when I come, I see the parents are so much involved in the school community, and then they are looking after and uh, doing, their children are doing very well, and uh, I'm very glad to see this community is uh, progressing, developing, and uh, very vibrant uh, community. That's amazing. Uh, Mr. Mehnaz, the Fraser Institute just came out with the report. Uh, how does that reflect your uh, writing uh, here in Etobicoke? Uh, as far as enrollment and uh, specifically Somali students, uh, Canadian students of a Somali descent, their enrollment uh, rate and all that. Yeah, says, uh, we had a little issue like around uh, when, the, when, the, when there's the task force was set up in uh, 
2014 about the Somalian descent uh, drop off uh, from uh, 90 around the like they were they were scoring around 60 percent uh, high schools now the numbers gone to 84 we are very happy to see all the Somali communities uh, all the young youth uh, in the Somali youth is uh, all they are in uh, they're very well scoring and then they improved a lot and uh, we they are doing very well in our schools now yes, that's amazing thank you very much sir for uh, giving us an interview at Hormaka TV have a wonderful evening uh, TV TV Toronto Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, the viewers of Her Market TV. This has been a very exciting announcement that was made by not only our minister Ahmed Hussein, the minister of honorable minister of uh, Canadian immigration. Um, the Canadian government has promised over ten million dollars, ten point four million dollars, to the Somali government towards aid towards international development, towards education, towards health, towards preventing death of toxic water, uh, water purification, and all these things, very important things. So that relationship is going to get stronger as far as the Somali diaspora, the Somali African diaspora here. Are, we're very excited. We had many people that attended uh, today's uh, announcement. And um, not only was it from the help of Ahmed Hussein's uh, office as, as an advocate, it started from Boris, Mr. Boris, the MP uh, in Etobicoke. Also, Kirsty Duncan, the Minister of Science and Technology, and um, we want to thank them and appreciate them. And that equals to over $40 million in aid given by the Canadian government in the year of 2017 to Somalia. Shukri Guchir, Hormarka TV, Toronto.
Oh, look at TV.